uh, more news on uh, Gorn or BAM. Um, you already probably have a statement from uh, TD. Um, but regardless, uh, the Lakers set, you know, the, the tenor, the tone, uh, the force, the physicality, um, you know, for the majority of, of the game. And, and, and they just took control and uh, we weren't able to, to get it back. First question here in the room, Tim on the right. Eric, you've been through a lot of these and you know that game one is, it's, a, it's often a feeling out game. And I mean, I think all three of the times you guys have won it, you've lost game one, but can, can this be a, a motivating point? Can this be just a, a, a wake up call, a dose of reality? Like how would you? It's, it's, comp, it's high level competition. Uh, so you have to do things with force and, and detail. Um, and it, you know, it's a cliche, but every single possession counts. And, um, there were, you know, there was too many possessions where it was either a poor offense possession or a miss uh, that led to or a couple poor possessions defensively or vice versa. Um, and, you know, those stacked on top of each other can get away from you pretty quick, uh, quickly against a, a, a very good team like this. We're much better than we showed tonight. Uh, you do have to credit the Lakers and we'll get to work. Uh, Malik, sorry. For the next one. Malik Andrews. Eric, could you just walk us through? It appeared so. So Goran left with six oh four ish left in the in the second quarter. When did he exactly hurt himself? And it looked like he, if he did on the Rondo play, he stayed in for a little after, maybe to test yeah, it out. What was your we recollection? We don't. I don't know. You know, right now, uh, I know he's as tough as anybody, uh, and, and it's the finals. Um, but I don't have an update. You know, where he is on, on his foot right now. No. Next question, Ira Winderman. Uh, Eric, we had talked about this before. Was Bam's injury just one from today, or is it exacerbating something that previously was in place? Uh, I don't have that answer right now. Um, and then, you know, we'll just we'll reevaluate him tomorrow and, and see, see where we are. And then to follow up, just on Anthony Davis is never a good matchup. He's so unique. You put a big on him, he goes to the perimeter. You put a small on him, he goes into the post. Can you take us through your thought process with Jay Crowder and sort of the what's the what's next approach with Anthony Davis? Yeah, we have you know 48 hours uh, to figure out what the the next plan of attack uh, will be. He was extremely good uh, tonight, and we have to be better. Next question, Jarrett Weiss. They were able to kind of ping the ball in and out to get to their corner three point shooters. How do you balance being aggressive on the ball without getting caught in the back like that? Yeah, we're better than we showed tonight. Now, this is a very, you know, highly uh, skilled, talented team. Uh, they have uh, guys at the point of the attack uh, in James and Davis uh, that are going to break your defense down, uh, can make plays over the top. Uh, so you have to be on a string and uh, you, you can't um, – start to make things up, uh, you have to be extremely disciplined and, uh, and stay with it. Um, there's too many times that uh, they got us out of uh, you know, our typical uh, things that we do, but that, that's also a big time credit to them. Tim Reynolds. Eric, kind of to that, while it was somewhat, they, they did sort of have you chasing at, at, at certain yeah. times. Yeah. The last time I looked, they were like 21st in the bubble in three-point shooting. Just how much did that just catch you off guard, the fact that they could make that many that quickly yeah you, you know you don't want to leave anything to chance uh, in the finals so we, we clearly have to just be a lot better you know more uh more resolve more commitment more multiple efforts more communication all of these things more trust uh we have to be much better on, on that end um and then you know offensively we we also have to you know, generate some better looks so. Next question, Anthony Chang. Hey, so I know it came came late and with the Lakers already holding a big lead, but how encouraging was it to see Kendrick play the way he did in that fourth quarter? And is that something you could take moving forward in the series? Well, it's, uh, you're always rooting for him. You know, these, this has been a tough uh, playoff, you know, for him. And, uh, you know, these are, you know, the, the human side of it. You want to get him in there. You want him to play well. Uh, and based on, you know, where we are, you know, we could use some, some scoring punch. 
uh, and you have to guard him, and he's, he's very skilled. Um, so we'll see where we are for the next game. All right. Rob, anyone else on your yeah, end? I've got one last one from Tab Deportes. Hi, Coach. You're coaching many NBA Fine Art games, and you know how hard can be this, this series. What is your message for the team after losing tonight? I don't have my message right now, uh, but I've got a night, you know, to figure it out. Right now, it doesn't really matter what you say. It's, you know, when we get to work and get together tomorrow. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you.